I would condemn ESN over violent attacks in Southeast, Peter Obi says. Hmm. The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi says he will not condemn the armed wing of Indigenous People of Biafra Eastern Security Network over attacks in Southeast because he is not sure they are behind the attacks. Ask if he would condemn the ESN over incident attacks on public facilities and people in the Southeast region amid agitation for Biafra Republic. Mr. Obi said, No, I cannot condemn because I am not sure who is doing what. You cannot just be condemning people. You cannot only condemn people when there is a process in which they have said this person has done this, Mr. Obi added. All right, that is investigative anyway. The former Anambra governor disclosed this in a presidential town hall television uh, on Nigerian Television Authority NTA on Monday night, speaking on his plan to dialogue with agitators across the country if elected. Mr. B said, everybody knows my position on agitation. I have said I will dialogue with all agitators. Everywhere in the country is full of agitation. It is the effect of leadership failure. Over the years, there is nothing wrong with agitation. We will dialogue with agitators. Eastern Nigeria has been rocked by insecurity as separatist agitations spearheaded by outlawed independent pe people of Biafra IPOB remains la rife. The extraordinary rendition of IPOB leader Nam De Kano from Kenya in June 2021 by the Buhari regime ramped up onslaughts by unknown government around Southeast. The unknown government continue to attack security agents and public facilities while disrupting economic and commercial activities in the region. In September, Anambra Governor Chukuma Soludo said Igbos are behind insecurity in Anambra State, dismissing as hoax the notion that insecurity in the Southeast is caused by invaders. Wow. So this is what is happening here in the Southeast. So um, during a television interview in 98 on Monday night, they were asking Peter B if he will condemn the ESN, all right, um, of the violence due to the violence in the Southeast. And he said, you know, I can't condemn ESN because I don't have proof that there are the people causing the insecurity. There, there has to be a system in place to prove who is doing what before you can hold somebody responsible or accountable or possibly prosecute that person, all right? He is saying that over the country now, there are agitators everywhere. Everybody wants to go his own way. And it's as a result of bad governance, bad leadership over time. That is why people are no longer satisfied with the entity called Nigeria and they want to go their own way because they are feeling disenfranchised. There is no equity, there is no justice, there is no fairness at all levels. And that's why people are agitating that they want to go their own way. So Peter Obi is telling everybody here that his position is to negotiate with all agitators when he gets to office to understand what the issues are, what do we have to do to, you know, to make everybody peaceful and to have every community and every area peaceful. That is what he's going to do. It's not by condemning this or condemning that. You don't have to just start by condemning after all, even this so-called IPOB that was quickly prescribed by the Buhari government, the same Buhari government did not prescribe Boko Haram, did not prescribe Iswap, did not uh, prescribe the Fulani headers that are causing mayhem in communities and in everywhere. But he was quick to prescribe the, the, the Biafrans or the, the IPOB and the, 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 the sentimental and, 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 and all these, our certain politicians, who are sentimental in their mentality accepted it. Both if people from Igbo accepted it. All right. The reporter is saying um, sometime ago, Soludo, now that he became the governor of the state, has accepted that Igbos are responsible for the insecurity in the region. How can you say that? Huh? So what Soludo is doing is sacrilegious to, to the people of the East. All right. We understand when they started burning police stations beginning and then uh, they started doing some other things in the southeast and uh, they were blaming the ESN. They were blaming uh, the iPod. They were blaming everybody until it became glaring that the Fulanese were had already invaded the whole southeast, starting from Ebony State and down to Imo State 
All right, have invaded everywhere and all the farmlands with AK-47, killing women and raping women in the bush, and then collecting their farmland and using their cattle to graze people's farm product and the people crops in the farm. All right, and then and when they try to react to support themselves, you know, the government sends the military. Instead of the government to send military to quell to quell the riot and to keep peace, they send the military to protect the Fulanis and to further annihilate the Igbos. And we saw that it was a sheer hatred of the Igbos by the houses and by the Fulanis from the north. We understand how the amount of military people they put in the southeast alone outnumbered the amount of people they were supposed to put in Sambisa Forest in Boronu State to go and fight terrorism and banditry. All right, the, 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 the Islamic extraction group in the north, in Kaduna, are killing the Christians in southern Kaduna, and the, both Erufai, the state governor, and the federal government are not doing anything about it, sacrificing the Christians along the, all over the country. And that is why uh, during uh, Donald Trump's in office, the, one of the meetings Donald Trump had with, uh, with uh, Buhari, he was asking Buhari, why are you killing Christians in your country? And Buhari did not have an answer to that question. Until Donald Trump left office, Buhari could not answer that question because it was obvious to the rest of the world that what the Fulanis are doing was annihilate Christians and every other person in Nigeria so that they can take over. And that's why they started looking for how to install their emirs in every state in the country and how to install their, um, to claim all the grazing route, the, the, the purported grazing route across the country, which is actually the Fulani agenda, the Usmanafodio agenda. That is the truth, right? And that is what they are trying to repeat to prove that they own Nigeria because they are trying to let us know that they own Nigeria and Nigeria belongs to them. Every other person is a tenant. How can you continue to say that? Right? How can you continue to say that? So what Peter will be saying here is that he will not be quick to condemnation. He will not be quick to judgment. There should be a system in place that will find out who did what and then use that to do the judgment. And not just coming out to say this group is doing it or this group is doing that when you really don't have proof. There are dictators all over the country, and because they are no more satisfied with the system of government, so what they want to do, what Peter B will do when he gets to office, is to put all these agitators together, dialogue with them, negotiate with them, understand the way forward to be able to restore peace across the country. And that is what every reasonable leader should do, actually. All right? So there are several comments here that have been made by people. Let us see uh, what they're saying. Peter B is the wisest and a true leader. That is what somebody is saying. All right? Yeah. So somebody say, why is this my food? Hmm? I go chalk you. Oh, my dear. Someone, another person is countering that statement. So why I like reading out some of these comments is because you hear people's views across the, the length and breadth of Nigeria from different extractions. All right? Somebody say, that is the problem I have with this government just ruling by assumptions, all right? Before agitations, we have kidnappers, we have armed robbers, we have court crisis. Now this incompetent government has generalized under one umbrella for ESN. Now the hoodlums and politicians hidden under this umbrella to commit crime after it will be called IPOC. And that is true. So the truth is that we had so many of these vices existing before this government and in the history of nigeria of course you have bad elements everywhere all right but under this government they just uh, grouped everything to become esn and how was esn formed it was not because of ipo it was because government was not coming to help the people over the full and mayhem that is being committed in the area so that they had to set up esn to help themselves now they went and they used the APC governors of the Southeast to form a bubago to fight against ESN. And that is causing confusion now in the Southeast. Now, now ESN is quiet, but they, talk, they, are, they thought ESN has been defeated. I, I don't think that, we, that they are about the strongest land force in the Southeast. They are just keeping quiet and people think they have been defeated. They have not been defeated. The bubago is just making noise because government is supporting them. We know bubago is set up politically to counter ESN, not really to provide uh, security. Now, what is happening is that, like the Ebony state governor and, uh, and the Imo state governor now, they are using, they begin to use the Bubago as political talks now to fight against other political parties and not allowing them to have free and fair uh, campaigns, 
free and fair campaigns in the region. All right. So that is one thing that that has been blown out of proportion, especially in the Bonnie State. We need to checkmate the activities of the Ebubago against other political parties during their rallies because something is fishing and something is coming out in the Bonnie State now. And it will soon begin to come out in, in the most state as well. And the way Anambra State Governor is going, we also expect that such thing could begin to happen in Anambra State, using a babago as a political tool rather than providing security uh, for the people. All right? So, like I said earlier, the government was quick to proscribe the ESN and the IPOB, where they failed to proscribe the Fulanese, the, the Boko Haram, the ISWAP and all the bandits that are operating in the north, right? Just because of the hatred that they have for the Igbos. It is clear and it is obvious, right? But all the same, we know that all of this will end one day and there will be equity, there will be justice, and there will be fairness at some point, you know, in future. Probably not far anymore. So thank you for listening. And this is what Peter B has to say. He's not going to quick to be quick to judgment and condemnation. Rather, he will follow the due process to get things right and to identify who is doing what to be able to know what to do in reaction. Thank you for listening and let's have your comment below.